Hey everybody, how's it going? It's your man here, Kidderade5, and I am back for the final Insert Name Jam game. Today we are beginning Pokemon Season Stone, and I am super, super excited for this game. Um, it just seems like a, a really cool game, and of course I am also extremely excited for the game because of the person, or the people who developed it. This game was made by Celestial Firo, aka Cerubia, and Enigma, um, who are both very, very accomplished game devs in this, uh, in the fan game community. Now, um, for those of you who might not know the devs, um, Enigma is, I know of Enigma's made other games in the past, um, but uh, from the most previous jam, they just did the little cat pictures game, which was really cute and wholesome. Um, also had some high quality memes in there as well. Um, but I know they've made other games, and of course, Cerubia made Pot like Pokemon Shattered Dimension, which was in, which was an honorable mention for my top five fan games of 2023. Definitely check out that video if you haven't seen that one. Um, but it is also behind fantastic games like Machinery, like Outbounds. Um, there's one more in there that I'm forgetting. I feel, oh, and Taiseo. All, all of those games are fantastic, and Cerubia is the lead dev behind all of those, so I have very high expectations for this game, actually. Um, should hopefully be fine. All the dialogue in this game was written by someone who doesn't speak English. Oh, we have to keep pressing enter. Okay. Cool. Are you a boy or a girl? I will be playing as a boy. What is our name? My name is Cade. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Caterade 5 YouTube channel or Twitch channel. Well, you are a boy and your name is Cade. Is everything right? Yes. Uh oh. This is really interesting. Also, I, I haven't uh, kind of explained what the, the context of this game is. It is a Legends game that is based in the Hoenn region, which I'm really excited for. Um, this game is only a demo. However, super, super excited uh, to see what uh, goes on in this game. Welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. I am that which humans call Arceus. Do not worry, I mean you no harm. Cade, listen to me. I need assistance in a part of our time. The power I cannot control threatens the continuity of time. You are the only one I could find capable of accomplishing such a task. To help you, I will offer you something to communicate with you beyond both time and space. Please, Cade, help me fix the continuity of time. Find the season stone. Dun, dun, dun. Also, let me just double check that my mic's not fucking crazy loud. I don't think it is. That would be really a shame. Oh, it is a little bit high. Okay. Um. Hopefully it hasn't been too bad. I mean, this, this should be a little bit quieter, but not too quiet. Hopefully, 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 hopefully. Uh, hello? Are you all right? Calm down, calm down. I mean, you know, harm. I'm just Professor... Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm just Professor... Ketaliria. Ketaliria? Okay. I'm just the local researcher of the town nearby. I just wanted to make sure you were okay since you were motionless on the beach. Yeah, that's right. You probably fell off your boat. That probably explains why you're so out of place. You come from another part of the world, right? 
Oh. I see you don't remember. Hmm. How about you come with me to my research center? There you can rest, and then maybe after a good rest, you'll be able to remember where you come from? Uh, you must be very tired. Awesome, just follow me. Uh, can I please grab the, um, the arc phone, please? I was going to say thank you. The arc phone. Or as Noah would call it, the arse phone. Because that totally makes sense. Follow her. Um, okay. Oh, and we're in the Alba Nova Bay. I love this music. I love this theme. It's so good. Um, anyways, let me see. We have the encounters in our arc phone. We have the bag, which is literal, literally just like a sack of things. We have the quests, the new world. You woke up on a beach in a world known and yet unknown at the same time. Someone called Professor Ketaliria found you on the beach. She asked you to follow her to her research center. Us, and then let's go ahead and save the game real quick. And let's go. Ooh, is that? Is that just... For some reason it looks off, but also it doesn't look off the uprunning sprite at the same time. I think there's like one frame that's like off, but it's, I mean, I don't care that those things, these things are so hard to align, dude. I just like, it's like impossible, you know, but here we are, Alba Nova town. I'm going to assume there's nothing here, but I'm conditioned from nightmare to check every single rock that I run into. But yeah, this is cool. I like this. Um, let's go ahead and save the game. Let's talk to you. Ah, I almost forgot to ask you something. Uh, what's your name? Unless that's something you forgot. Cade, you said? Interesting. That's not a very common name around here. I know it's not. I know it's not. <laughs> Cade is not a, a normal name, a common name at all. Welcome to Alba Nova Town, Cade. This is where I and many other people live. I have little to say about this place since I also recently arrived here, but let me tell you that the people who live here are very good people. Ah, Professor. Speaking of good people, here is one of them. Yes, Luke. What is it? I was wondering if you found anything interesting about that big thing we saw in the sky. Ah, this? this or that probably sorry my bad uh, i unfortunately found nothing however i found this young kid unconscious on the beach what a strange assortment of clothes this kid is wearing you look so out of place how did you get here well here's the thing they don't remember my theory is that they just fell off a boat but that's just a theory hmm i see I guess you should take this kid with you to your research center. The villagers seem to be afraid of him. That's what I'm already doing, Luke. Alright. Anyway, we're almost there, Cade. My research center is up this hill. Nice little detail of the uh, of Luke going down and then talking to like the people who like very clearly are like concerned or something when they're up and looking at us. Uh, just to like assure them that we're not crazy. I mean, maybe we are crazy, I don't know. Anyways, welcome to my research center, Cade. Sorry for the mess. I usually never get visitors, and the person who works with me is not bothered by the mess. Anyway, like I said before, you must be tired. I have a bed in the basement that's very comfortable, and also some new clothes that could help you blend in better with this environment. Also, I feel like I've gotten away from this, but we love, we absolutely love the emote animations here. Emote animations are a great form of nonverbal communication in Pokemon in, in a game with the 2D format like this. Nonverbal communication is very hard to come by, so I love seeing the emote animations here. This bed looks comfortable. Would you like to sleep in it? Yes! Oh, dude. Now I want to sleep. <laughs>
you had a good rest. In the meantime, you decide to change your clothes with those in the room. Oh, the sound effect too? You feel like you should go explore the main floor. Alright. We also, it looks like there are level caps in this game. Interesting. And then we have the quests. Any books? Books in a familiar language, but you can't seem to understand it. Cool. Dude, I love these tiles too. The tiles are so clean. Of course, the games, every single Cerubi game looks so clean. And again, I will continue to preach this from the high hill. Uh, Cerubi's mapping is some of the most underrated mapping in fan games in my opinion so it looks like professor ketaleria is not here can i just take one of the pokemon we can interact with these things and i like these little uh things that say what we can and can't interact with this says the spring clan oh that's right there's gonna be different clans it seems to be research on pokemon of the region <sighs> oh that's right i think i remember seeing somewhere that like each season has its own clan also, you totally didn't just hear me knock my water into my microphone right there. Here's to be research into something very important. Okay, and the book. Looks like the book has information about something important. Oh, seems that it's about the seasoned stone, which is what we do remember, something that we have to get. Seems that little is known about it. Its usefulness is unknown, and its power is also unknown. But this thing definitely is responsible for having eternal seasons in the region. At least that's what is noted in the book. Find its location. It seems that there's no other info regarding the season stone. Hey, what are you doing? Are you interested in knowing more about the season stone? Ah, the Seasoned Stone is one interesting thing about this place. It's the main reason I'm here in the Heoan region. Heoan? Heoan? Let's go Heoan. Heoan? <laughs> you see, the Seasoned Stone is very unique. It's apparently because of the stone that some parts of the region are constantly in a single season. For example, here it's eternally spring which is really intriguing. But anyways, I'm sure we can talk about it more later. So tell me, how are you, Cade? Do you remember how... Ketaleria, Ketaleria! What is it, Luke? The Autumn Clan, they're attacking the town. What? What are they doing here? I have no idea. You have to help us. Wait, where is Flora? I have no idea. Wait. I sent them to Path 103 to learn how to use a crafting kit. I bet they're still there. Cade, you stay here. I'll be right back. Help them pick one of the three Pokemon. Dude, I love how direct Arceus is. It is literally just like, do this, do that. I'm assuming the Venipede is sleeping. Okay, so we have a very important decision to make. Um, what Pokemon are we going to pick? We have Squirtle, we have Scorbunny, and we have Snivy. Now. I've never used a Scorbunny. But also, I kind of really want to use Snivy, honestly. Like, Snivy is my favorite starter from Gen 5, but it's not the starter I normally use for Gen 5. I normally use Tepic for Gen 5 just because that's what I originally picked, right? So I think because of that, we'll go with Snivy here. And maybe we can have like a custom superior at some point. Probably not in this game, in this current demo, but you know, very interested. Do you want this Pokemon as your partner for your journey? Yes. Snivy. Sweet. Now, I don't have a set nickname for this thing either. Um, so we're going to have to figure that out. Superior nicknames Pokemon, because I feel like, you know, people think of Lake Superior. Bro, what? It... Hmm. Um, again, none of these are good. None of these are good. 
None of these are good. Oh. Okay, you know what? I like that. We'll name you Basil. Or Basil. Should we go Basil? Like, like we're British? No. We'll do Basil. Alright, time to go outside. Alright, let's save the game and then take a quick little look at Snivy. Um, we have... God, I thought our IVs were all zeros, like... What? Um... Okay, interesting. Kind of sucks for our attack IV, but whatever. I'm not about to... You know, reset, but let's go tackle Lear finally. That's good. And uh, let's help them. Bro, this is very, like, obviously... I I feel like this is the super, super obvious comparison to make based on the tile sets here, especially. Um, but it seems very much like Bushido. This game feels a lot like Bushido. All right, we are not going to waste our time. Give us what we want and no one gets hurt. And what exactly do you want? Your research on the seasoned stone. Yes, give us all of it. What? Never, ever will I ever give my research on the seasoned stone to the Autumn Clan. That's not a question. If you don't, then... Cade, what are you doing here? I told you to stay inside. She's right. The Autumn Clan is not here to joke around. What? You want to help? They do have a Pokemon with them. One of mine. You're not serious, right? The Autumn Clan is strong. I can see something in them. We should let them try. Wait. You're serious? You are? Alright, if Cade wants to help us, it's not like we have many options. Hmm? How is this kid? Hey, that's one of the explorers or something. Yeah, who cares? Kid, you're in our way. We, we shall get rid of you. We shall get rid of you. I love these designs. These sprites are clean. Got a Poochiena. We can deal with that one pretty easily. And down you go. Down goes the Poochiena. Down goes this person named Tracer. <laughs> I'm already Tracer. This kid's strong. You haven't trained enough, that's all. Let me show you how real training makes you strong. M4 Bro is like maybe level four. Oh, wait, this uh, this one's called Tracer. Okay, I'm already Tracer. <laughs> uh, you guys are gonna hate me. Okay, Vine Whip. We yeah, that's a two go. Sweet. Down you go. Just like that, we're level six. But my training. Wow. Okay, did you really just do that? That kid's not normal. We have to get out of here. Autumn Clan, retreat. Our time is not worth it here. You really did it. You protected Albanova Town from the Autumn Clan. The fact that they managed to do this shows how talented they are. Yeah, not everyone is good with Pokemon around here. The only person with similar skills I know is Flora. Wait, what is it? Could Cade be... The legendary warrior? Oh my god, we're a legendary warrior, what the fuck? What are you talking about? Well, I was studying the Season Stone. I read in ancient text that a legendary warrior could come to protect the Season Stone when the time is needed. The legends also said that they're a very good Pokemon wielder. We're not trainers, we, all, we are wielders. <laughs> I love that. I think it's hilarious, actually. I see. Trust me. This big thing we saw in the sky is no coincidence. If Cade is the legend, then there's no time to waste. I feel like we should warn the leader of the Spring Clan first. You're right! 
Cade, please help find the Season Stone before the Autumn Clan. Thank you. But first, do you mind bringing back Flora here? I'd feel much safer knowing they were around. You can find them on Path 103, but first you'll need the region map of Heo yeah, Heowen to find where they are. The region map, sweet. And I shall also give you these because I know you'll know how to use them. Pokeballs. Sweet. That's a Pokemon you have with you likes you already. You can keep it. I'm sure they'll have a better life outside instead of inside. Alright, that's everything. I'll be back in the research center if you need me. And also feel free to use the bed in the basement. I'll be at the entrance of the town if you need me. Oh, and we have multiple quests already. Oh, map data updated. Location now indicated and saved. Okay, well, let's save. And then, we've got a few things that we can do. First off, let's take a look at the map. D Bro, this region map is gorgeous. Okay, so path 102, path 103. Wait. Oh, I just noticed this is literally hell one, but like, honestly gorgeous. Look at, dude, oh my god. This is so good! Graphit Port City. Okay, we've got Lavandia Village, Solarosa Village, Metarost City, Mount Schlottberg. <laughs> Am I actually still deafened on Discord? That's fucking crazy. Hello. Hey. Thank you for the sub. <clears throat> um. How's it going? Isn't it? Isn't today your birthday? It is. Indeed. Happy birthday. <sighs> Thanks. I got a 32 gig RAM kit and a copy of FF7 Rebirth. Oh, nice. Or I guess a pre-order. Yeah. Dude, this... Oh my god. This is really cool. Okay. Um, let's explore this town now that we're... We've been let go. We got, wait, yes, I think it happened to be born on Pokemon Day. What? I just happened to be born on Pokemon Day. Yeah. You were destined <laughs> to be a Pokemon player. <laughs> no, I wasn't. <laughs> one thing I noticed is that some wild Pokemon are sometimes more powerful than normal. I tried to catch one, but it didn't work. I think they're too wild to be caught. Oh dear, oh dear. The land of Alba Nova, Nova Town is not very fertile. Is the farmer of this place that makes my job very hard. Wait, you're an explorer, aren't you? Do you mind going to Solo Rosa Village and get, getting me five springy mushrooms at the shop? It would help a lot in my work. Sure. Can I grab your berries real quick? Is this... None of these actually has... Okay. Cool. And I think it's very fitting that on the day when, when Pokemon Zaza Legends Edition was announced, um... We're uh we're playing a, a Legends fan game. If I train enough, maybe I'll be able to defeat a member of the Autumn Clan. Um, where I come from, this big Pokemon is called Golden Wing. It's quite a strange name. I wonder if there isn't a more official name. Yeah, that official name's Ho Oh. <laughs> oh my bro! Every I swear, every time I stream, this thing opens. No, the drawer. Yes, it opened last night, and it did not open I until that. now. Also, oh, did you hear about the Final Fantasy VII Remake patch that just dropped? Uh, was that the one that changed the Aerith dialogue? Yeah, that was part of it. It also uh, slightly altered Tifa's... Uh, flashback outfit when she mm -hmm. she she does appear with like the cowboy outfit a couple of times I don't when she's like raging on Sephiroth in a flashback I do not remember. Uh, and they apparently like 
changed it a bit to match what it's depicted in Rebirth, and apparently people got really pissed because it covered her up more. Because of course they got pissed about that. Bruh. Damn, bro. That's crazy. That's crazy. Um, The same people who Jaws dropped when they saw the beach scene. Oh my god, dude. In the trailer, yeah. Yeah. Do you ever... Do you ever... Wait. Have you ever been to the Summer Clan's island? It's a very nice place to see. Its warm wind is so good. Hello. Have you heard about scrolls? It's basically something that allows the Pokemon to learn a unique move. How about I give you one? I found it while cleaning my house. The scroll for protect. You can use it as many times as you want. Yes! Let's go! Unlimited use TMs. The Autumn Clan is always a source of trouble. Why can't they leave Alba Nova Town alone? Actually, I'll be right back. I moved all my consoles upstairs. I gotta move them back. Okay. <laughs> I remember, I remember you. You look so much better in these clothes than the others you wore before. Oh, that's right. We are in, uh, we're dripped out now. We are the Spring Clan, but of course we aren't the only one in Hay Owen. There's also the Summer Clan, the Winter Clan, and the Autumn Clan. We don't talk about the Autumn Clan. Clearly we're at war with the Autumn Clan or something like that. Is it, can we go in here? The well, it's not very deep. You can see to the bottom and there's nothing in there. There's a big bad monster in the well, and no one wants to believe us. If no one does something about the monster in the well, the village will be destroyed. Some Trojan horse type vibe with the autumn clan. Alba Nova Town is a very good place to live. Nothing special really happens here, apart from the recent events. But we don't talk about that. We do our best to keep this place safe, but the lack of training does not help us at all against the autumn clan. All of the Autumn Clan members are trained by their leader. Apparently, their leader is extremely talented with Pokemon. Hmm. Let's grab a Pokeball. Check this area out. I don't get why the Spring Clan leader hasn't had a war against the Autumn Clan yet. There's all the reason to. Uh, something, something diplomacy. Hey, it's you. I saw how you fought those Autumn Clan tracer tracers. People? I don't know. You're quite a source of inspiration, you know? Bro, it's, it's, I'm not that good. I have a level 5, or level 6 Snivy, I guess. Speed of which, do I? No, I don't need to heal. Okay, cool. Kate, I don't know why I never call you by your name, but that was pretty impressive what you did a moment ago. You know what? I kind of want to be like you. You see, I recently caught this rare Pokemon on Path 101, and it looks pretty strong. And I kind of want to battle you if you don't mind. Uh, sure, we're probably gonna lose because it's a fucking crow gunk, but we will do our best. Oh, this is kind of a banger. Level four though. Maybe we can take it on. No poison thing. The poison sucks. We should still be able to win though, barring like a crit or something. I do love this room, so it's really cool. Down you go. Level 7 on Basil. Cool. Thanks for the battle, Kate. This sure will help me a lot to learn. Cool. Now let's heal. Also, I don't believe we have potions yet. What? Bro, I forgot the... Dude, the wingle's going... <laughs> Wingle's going crazy. That's one thing that hasn't changed about the Hoenn region. There's still Wingles here. There's still Wingles there. Okay. Let's actually head up north. Oh. Wait, before you go. Bro, I already battled you. What the fuck? I must warn you that there are some very dangerous Pokemon outside of this place. Some that will attack you on sight. So be careful, okay? We'll do. Path 101? Oh. 
Encounter any Pokemon and I shall register them for you to see. You can check the encounters from the pause menu. Sweet. Also, we love the conquest music. Rumblestone. Um, ooh, a Scatterbug. That's going to be a good early game Pokemon. I would assume we have, like, EXP share auto on, but I guess you never know. I guess you never know. Um, oh, I guess we only have Pokeballs. Okay, cool. We don't have, like, any healing items or whatever. Two, three, cool. Um, do I want to name? Yes, we will. We'll name you Conway. Of all Pokemon that I have a set nickname for, a fucking Scatterbug. Oh, we can also catch a Taylor. I think I definitely will want to be catching a Taylor here. Let's just populate the team a little bit, you know? Before we go crazy. Right? I feel like, um... Like, we'll probably be able to encounter some cooler Pokemon. Um, as we continue on, but... For now. I'm cool with this. Um... Um... Hmm. Let's do that. Uh, and let's grab the Taylor. Please tell me this is the Taylor. Okay, good. Level 4 as well, which is good. Because both of the um, other Pokemon we've gotten so far are level 2. Oh, and there's speed up in this game. Let's go. Holy shit, you know Peck already? Damn. Wait, is there speed up? I didn't even tell. No, I don't think there is. Okay, whatever. That's fine. Very much understandable. And look at all this uh, experience that we're getting. Um, I don't know, as customary, we need to call this thing Burb. We'll go back and heal and then we can, you know, actually get going. Because I know we're going to need to get the crafting kit. We're going to need to get the crafting kit. And then we'll be able to craft like potions and, and pokeballs and stuff. Anyways, so let's keep going. Let's keep going. Hopefully we can actually make it to whatever old, old, Odale, Oldale town is. Oh, we found a Vulpix in here. Okay. That's interesting. Very interesting. Path 101. I'm going to hold out hopes for a better fire type than Vulpix, though. But if we do run into one, I mean, I'm, I might as well. I might as well catch you. Again, when the EXP all exists, there's no reason to really not um, just catch and try and use all these things. Like, I don't know. Especially if they're all just going to stay in Pokeballs on the first try. Like, that, that is just fantastic. Cool. Um, Dude, I'm on fire with nicknames other than for Snivy. Snivy's kind of a tough nickname, but I liked... I like Basil as a name. Um, anyways, uh, I want to see if we can get... Actually, let's just stay in with Basil, because I think this thing's going to attack me. Yeah. Okay. So instead of trainers, we're getting wild Pokemon, which makes sense. Oh, it looks very strong. Oh, what the fuck? What? Interesting, so we can't escape. So these are pretty much just trainer battles. Luckily, we're not taking any damage from this, which is good. Very good. Conway's level 4. Cool, cool, cool. 
Oh. Has dropped something, a tumble stone and a springy mushroom. Okay. More tumble stone right here. Of course, we'll be grabbing that. Oh, hello there, Taylor. That was very rude of you to inter interrupt me, but... Whatever. Alright. Um, what should that do? How much does this do? We should be able to survive another one. Okay, sweet. Then you go. Cool, cool, cool. Somebody learned Howl. And we got a Tumble Stone. And an Iron Chunk. I believe Iron Chunks are used for, like, the higher-up Pokeballs. Oh, and here's a Medicinal Herb. Or a Leak. That's what they're called. Oh my god, it's a Lotad! Kenny! <laughs> What's up? Hey, there he is. I'm sure Tomix's stream is more interesting right now because he's actually farther into this game. I'm literally catching level 3 wild Pokemon. But, you know. It's a longer one? What? Yeah, this is. Now nah, he just finished? Is he gonna raid me? He's playing fun. Oh, family restaurant now. Okay, I see. I can't wait for him to raid me at, at 9.59 p.m. Hmm, I wonder who what we're gonna name this slow tab. There's nothing over here, okay. Let's head on up to not Odale Town, Solo Rosa Village. I'm going to assume this is where we can heal up. Oh yeah, it's a hot spring. <laughs> wait. Wait! Speaking of Kenny, <laughs> yo gamer, don't mind me, just chilling here. Speaking of Kenny, it's Kenny. Uh, 